Hey, Belder, how's it going? It's going very well. Thank you for joining us here in Dallas, Texas, on the Valdivita Show, Josh Texas. You bet. Excited to be here. Well, great. I'm excited. I want to get started to talk with you because you've got a game changer going on here with Hampton Creek. Would you like to tell us about it? You bet. So we're a food company at our very heart, and we recognize that we got to make food better. Um, we got 9 billion people that are going to be on this planet by 2015. I think we need to figure out a way to make food really affordable and really delicious for everyone. And we started off with fixing egg production. That might seem a strange place to start, but 1.8 trillion eggs are laid every year around the world. Trillion. And 99% come from places that are pretty gross. Imagine hens kind of packed in small cages, not the safest. And, and we just think that's kind of silly. So we've searched the world for plants that are actually better than the chicken egg and doing what the chicken egg does, which is everything from making a, a delicious mayonnaise to making some cookie dough to, to even making a scrambled egg that you can enjoy at breakfast. And so you were inspired by this, I read, after your trip or work in Africa? I was. I spent about seven years across sub-Saharan Africa. I was in Kenya. I was in Liberia. I was in Nigeria and Ethiopia. And I was doing everything from working with farmers in Kenya uh, to help them improve their livelihoods and, and figuring out a way to deal with droughts, uh, working with uh, kids in Monrovia, Liberia and South Africa and helping them get off the street and into school. And I'll tell you, it felt like no matter what I did in Africa, that food was really at the center of it. You know, take that, that work in in Liberia and South Africa, it's awfully hard to get an education if you're malnourished. The brain doesn't really work properly if it's not fed and the difficulty that those farmers had. So I came back to the U.S. with food on my mind and thought, you know, business isn't always the best for the world, but I think it can be. And what would it look like to create a food system that's inclusive, that is radically more affordable, that helps to feed people, you know, in a way that puts a smile on our face? Okay, so this is, is, is akin to eggs or replacing eggs or competition with eggs. I don't know which one you're calling it. How does it look? How does the actual raw product look? So it's just imagine uh, a plant, um, in our case in the mayo, a particular kind of yellow pea. So not a green pea, but a yellow pea. And we literally just flour mill the yellow pea like you would put in a mill, and it turns it into a powder. And instead of using the chicken egg... In mayo, which is usually put into powder form anyway in a large manufacturing context, we just put it in our plant. It's grown in fields in Canada, uh, and it's phenomenal. Uh, the plant that we use to scramble up an egg is actually a different one, but it's the same deal. It's, there's no synthetic engineering. There's no manipulation of this, this or that. It's, it's really just harnessing the abundance of plants, and we can use them in mayo and cookie dough and everything the chicken egg would be used in. That's great, because I know that your product is in whole foods, so that means that it's not GMO, genetically modified organism. That means it's a natural organism? You got it. Yeah, we're, we're proud to be certified by the non-GMO project for everything that we do. And, you know, at our, at our very heart, we're, we're really astounded every single day at, at the abundance, at the complexity of plants out there. We don't think we need to mess with them. We think nature's, you know, done fine enough, and, and we find them. And it takes a long time to find them. So imagine that yellow pea. It's a particular species of a yellow pea. But there are thousands of subspecies of that particular type of yellow pea. And we've had to screen through each and every one of them. And then we found one that's just amazing. And then we use it. So now are you finding people in the United States that are growing this for you? How are you getting the source of your product? So we work with farmers right now in the Midwest and with farmers in Canada. Um, and we're excited about working with farmers all around the world. You know, farmers all around the world have sort of been limited to a more monoculture type world that we live in today. Lots of soy and lots of corn. And we think it can be a little bit different. We think they can, they can grow new crops, new crops to, to plug into a better sustainable food economy. So hopefully one day we'll get them from everywhere. Okay, so you got this great idea. This is really interesting. Uh, <laughs> someone asked me, uh, I'm not going to say what they asked me, but this is really interesting. Like I said earlier, game changer. Okay, so you've got this, this, this age-old plant that you found, that now you're making a new product. How's business? 
That's it. Yeah, we we are creating new products out of something that has been around for tens of thousands of years. Um, and you know, when uh, electricity first came around, it was called the gas light substitute. Back in the day, gas lights used to light our homes and before that candles. And then electricity True. came along and, and we think innovation has a way of doing that, right? You know, the horse and buggy didn't go the way of the dinosaurs because people cared a whole lot about horses. The car came around and we think we can use plants to really make a world in which our food is 30%, 40% more affordable, so much better for the environment and a lot better for our bodies too. So when you use this, and, and I'm very fascinated by this, and I'm going to let you go after a couple more questions, but when you do this, there are no preservatives, no additives added? Not a thing. Uh, just imagine you in the context of mayo or cookie dough, all the other ingredients that would go in a cookie dough or mayo, vinegar, uh, salt, you know, a little sugar in the cookie dough, all those other ingredients are the same. The only difference is we take out the conventional chicken egg and we put our plant in. And I, and I want to emphasize, it's really the conventional chicken egg that, you know, is our issue. There are free range farmers out there. They're actually really supportive of what we're doing. We think that's wonderful. It's just where 99% come from. Uh, these, uh, you know, rusty cages that, that have a lot of issues that we just don't, don't think are suited for the world today. I like the game changer. And so you're Hampton Creek, and we can find you in Whole Foods. Any other place we want to go? No, that's it. You can just go to Whole Foods and get uh, our very first product, Just Mayo. And, and make sure you use it on a turkey sandwich and potato salad and everything you normally use regular mayo in. Well, thank you. I got some, and some samples. So I got some professional taste testers, and I call them professional because they love to eat in my studio. And they say they loved it. Oh, beautiful. That's great to hear. Well, thank you so much for talking about Hampton Creek, Josh Tetrick. And I really, really, I'm looking forward to buying you in Whole Foods. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for changing the game.